Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are diving in a powerful design pattern in Java, the visitor pattern. Design patterns are like tried and true solutions to common problems in software development. The visitor pattern is one such gem that simplifies complex data structures. In this video we'll break down what the visitor pattern is, why it's important and how it works. So let's get started. The visitor pattern is a behavioral design pattern. It's like having a museum tour guide for your objects. Imagine you have a complex data structures and you want to add new operations to them without changing that classes. That's where the visitor pattern comes in handy. It helps you separate algorithms from the object structure, making your code more extensible and maintainable. To illustrate the visitor pattern, let's set up simplified scenario. Imagine we have a document with various elements like paragraphs, headings and lists. Our document structure has different element types. These represent the complexity we want to manage. Our goal is to perform different operations on these elements without modifying their classes. To make this happen, we'll start with the visitor interface. So let's open it up. The visitor interface will define visit methods for each element type. Now let's introduce these concrete elements, paragraphs, headings and lists. We have them here. So we have our heading, we have our list and we have our paragraph. These elements implement the accept method to allow visitors to operate on them without changes to their classes. On the other hand, we have concrete visitor classes like text executor and element counter. These classes implement the visit methods to perform specific operations on elements. Let's dive into demonstration by using the text executor visitor. We'll extract the text from the elements in the document structure. Notably, we are doing this without touching the element classes. Continuing with our demonstration, we'll use the element counter visitor. The visitor counts the elements in our document structure. The magic is the same, the elements are counted without changes to their classes. In a nutshell, the visitor pattern offers several benefits. It cleanly separates concerns, making your code more organized and readable. You can add new functionalities without modifying existing classes. These advantages are crucial in real-world software development scenarios. To wrap things up, we have covered the essentials of the visitor pattern in Java. I encourage you to experiment with this pattern in your own projects and witness its power. Design patterns like the visitor pattern helps us write clean and maintainable code, which is always a win in a software development. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative and valuable. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more educational videos on software development and design patterns.